This is an ABC 10 News update. Hello, I'm Jim Patton with this ABC 10 News update. A judge has ruled against San Diego Unified's vaccine mandate. Today was supposed to be the deadline for students 16 and up to get the second dose. A judge, though, ruled in favor of a lawsuit against the mandate. He said he did so in part because of the district's refusal to offer exemptions for personal beliefs. He says mandates without those exemptions can only be issued by the state legislature. San Diego International Airport is preparing for the busy travel week. Travel numbers are expected to break records. TSA reported screening more than 2 million passengers yesterday. Airport set up a COVID testing station, which they say has seen 160 tests per day. And they are reminding people that masks are still required for traveling. Well, starting today, thousands of students at UC San Diego were challenging one another to get their third shot by the end of the year. More than 8,400 students have joined the challenge and have gotten their shot. The university's chancellor has pledged $50,000 for every 10,000 students who get boosted by the end of the year. The money is going toward UC San Diego's basic needs hub, which helps students with food security, housing resources, and financial wellness. Let's get a check on our weather now. We started off with an awfully cold morning this morning and some more excitement on the way. Right, and then we started off cool, but by the afternoon, a lot of us are going to be mild. We'll see plenty of sunshine and warm conditions throughout the county, especially the inland valleys. Let's go ahead and take a look at that satellite and radar composite as high pressure continues to settle in. It'll keep us nice and dry, but things are going to change as we look ahead to tomorrow. That's when the low pressure system slowly makes its way into our area with the return of onshore flow, and we'll see those clouds begin to redevelop. Coastal areas today will top out in the mid 60s this afternoon, close to 70 degrees in the inland areas and plenty of sunshine with cool conditions in the mountains, 70 degrees in the desert. Your chance of rain in Increases. Looking ahead to Thursday and then we'll continue to see on and off showers and even mountain snow through Christmas. So again, if you have any outdoor plans, make sure that you bundle up because in addition to being wet, it's going to be cool. We'll drop about five or so degrees along the coastal communities looking ahead to Thursday when the storm system arrives and then we stay nice, cool and wet through your holiday weekend. Jim. Vanessa, thank you very much. And for the latest news, weather and traffic, go to 10news.com or download our free 10 News mobile app in your app store. For ABC 10 News, I'm Jim Patton.